Hello everybody and welcome to today's webinar. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to come and join me. Um, what we're going to be looking at today is home learning using Education City and this is from sort of child's perspective what they will see when they log into Education City and what you will see as well. So today what I'm hoping to cover is looking at the pick and play and how um, you and your children can choose which activities and tools get done um, and taking advantage of Education City at the moment um, whilst you are doing this home learning and then a couple of tips and trip, um, tricks that I have for you as well. Now before we get started I need to point out that the account I'm going to be using today it is an English account, but if you are listening today from Scotland, Northern Ireland, Wales or anywhere else, don't worry. The majority of these um, of what I'm going to show you will stay exactly the same. There might just be a couple of areas that are slightly different. I also need to tell you um, that if you do not have your child's login details or your children's login details at the moment, you will need to contact your child's teacher or school in order to get those, as I'm afraid because of GDPR um, policies, we are unable to give out those details to you. Okay, so let's head over to Education City and get started. And here we go. This is what it will look like when um, your child or children log in. So you can see you've got your classwork and your homework just there. Um, any revision from any assessments that teachers may have set. You've also got um, your subjects area. This is what we call our pick and play because children are able to select something. They can pick something and they can play it. And then also any scores that they might have. So again, we'll head over these areas um, throughout today's webinar. So we'll start with our classwork and homework. So if teachers do set any classwork or homework, you will find them here. There we go, classwork and homework just there. And you can see if they've set a due by date as well. You can have a look in and see, um, you know, Teachers may have put in a quick um, note there to your child or children, you know, about what they want them to do, what they want them to practice. If you see just there, a couple of ideas. And then you'll see a couple of tools in there at the moment. So just here, you can see via this um, little icon, sort of puzzle piece icon just there, these are our activities. Um, and activities are something that, um, the children can do and it will get marked for you um, as well which means that the children can get that instant feedback and they can have another go at any activities as well so if for instance um if for instance um they haven't maybe got the best score that they wanted to get they can have another go and try again there we go so that is via those icons. You'll be able to see different icons as we head throughout Education City, but I will tell you which ones are um, relevant to home learning. So we've had a look here. It says to practice 12 times table. So we can head up over here to the search content area, click into that, and it will take us to this page. And we can type in now 12 times tables, click search and those tools will become available to you. Now, Education City is in the process of updating all of our tools so that they can be available on an iPad or a tablet. But if for now you might want to just look at those tools that are available, you can click over to tablet friendly. And don't worry if you are using an iPad or a tablet, the, um, the site will recognise that and will flip you over to tablet friendly straight away. So that is not to worry. And then we've got subject areas down that left hand side. We've got our filters in addition to the tablet friendly areas and we've got our year groups here as well. So your child can select the year group that they're in and they can have a look through. Now you can see here 
by this little icon. This is a video. All of our multiplication tables have a video. Um, so the children can learn their times tables in a really fun way. And the words do appear on the video as well. So they can join in with the song. And you can see for every multiplication there, word of warning, some of them, including the eight times tables one, will get stuck in your head. So just a quick word of warning there, they, um, they are very catchy tunes. Now, if I head over to this left-hand side, you will see the icons from the homepage are there as well. So if I head back to the homepage using that home button in the top left-hand corner, you can see you've got the subjects there, you've got the revision and so on and so forth. So let's head into pick and play through those subjects. You've got the tools um, that are available for the different subject areas. And if I head into maths and over to lower key stage two, now this is where it might look a little bit different if you are joining us from Scotland, Northern Ireland or Wales. It may have um, sort of early, first, second and your different um, P stages there um, as a sort of alternative. But let's head into lower key stage two. And you can see you've got your activity just there, as I mentioned previously, and your videos just there as well. Um, but we do also have some times tables. So you can see all of our multiplication table videos. Again, we can open that up. You can have a look at that little icon just there. And we've also got three different activities for each times table. We've got our, if I head backwards one, there we go. We've got our multiplication. Now this encourages um, sort of the learning of the commutative law in terms of it will do sort of one times two, two times two, three times two, four times two, but it will also do the opposite. So it might say um, two times one, two times two, two times three, two times four one times two, two times two, et cetera. So it will encourage sort of the um, sort of flip side of those multiplication tables. Then we've also got a division stacks one there. And oh, there we go, I head back one. There we go, multiplication and division facts as well. And this will encourage the inverse operations. So um, children can solve division facts using multiplication and vice versa. Um, in that area. So there we go. You can see those are activities there as well. Whilst we're here, let's head backwards along our breadcrumb trail and head into our activities area. And you'll be able to see down the left hand side here, we've got our different units. So if your child is working on fractions or multiplication and division, for example, you can select that area. Um, to have a look at what is available. We do also have our topic filter just here, so I can search for a particular tool. There we go, we've got divide, and it will show you just those dividing tools. Um, and as you can see there, you've got those links as well. So multiplication, division, and fractions, as multiplication and division are the baseline skill for understanding fractions. So we can scroll down, we can see what we've got available there. And again, we can click in and we can move forwards and backwards using those buttons. Now, if I just stop at the divisible man, you'll be able to see we've got our activity by hitting play. All of our activities come with an activity sheet you can print out and you can have a go at at home if you do have a printer. But a lot of them will also come with a learn screen. Now, if you can see that little icon just there, a learn screen is a combination of a slideshow and an activity. So if we click on that, we can open that up. And these are really good for um, introducing a new area with your child, working through um, something new or refreshing something that your child may have already um, been taught, but they just need that quick refresher. And we can press start just and there we go it's working its way through giving that instruction for the children 
and you've got your pause here, your rewind, fast forward, as you would do with a video, but you also have your slide selectors along the bottom as well. Now, you may see in a lot of our learn screens, there may be a coloured bar underneath a particular slide. If I head over to that slide, you'll be able to see there's a piece of instruction just there, but then there's also a question. So it will test your child's understanding as you're working along through that learn screen. And if, for instance, I click an incorrect answer, let's click on done, You'll be able to see it gives you a piece of instruction there as well, which means that you can then go back and have another look through the learn screen if you need to, or we can continue on further. There we go. So I'm just going to pause that. Once you've gone through that learn screen, if I head backwards at the top left just there, it will take us back into that folder, and then maybe you can have a go at that activity. So these are really, really useful tools. And as I mentioned, learn screens are really good at introducing an area of work or refreshing something. Um, the other advantage of our learn screens is that it, um, it's great at introducing or refreshing key vocabulary. So if I head back up to this search content area, it may be something like your child is working on conjunctions. Let's type that one in. Um, and they're trying to understand the difference between a subordinating, coordinating conjunction. So again, we can have a look. We want subject area just there. And um, um, conjunctions is something that is taught in year two. So we can click onto that. And we want to learn screen because we want to be able to um, refresh our memory. And this is something obviously that can help you as parents in order to help your children. So there we go, learn screens. And there it is just there, subordinating and coordinating conjunctions. So you can really, really have um, a play with that, go through it with, your, um, with you and then go through it with your children if you need to as well. There we go. The other thing that this is really valuable for is if you're working through phonics with your child or your children. So we can type in a particular sound and then you'll be able to see here you've got sort of activities just there as well as learn screens that you can go through with your child or children as well so it's a really useful tool that search content um but the pick and play is equally as important if you're wanting to um, work on something in a particular unit or a particular area now if i just head into english you'll be able to see there it is just there. We do have sort of packs available and sort of bundles um, for phonics. Um, in addition to, for example, in EYFS, we have a themes bundle. And as you saw earlier in maths, there is also um, a times tables bundle just there. So um, a couple of other areas that I want to tell you about. We've had a look at activities and learn screens as well as videos is that we have some really useful tools called Thinkits. Now, Thinkits are, um, well, exactly what they say, really. They're about getting children to think about something, to use their learning and their understanding to answer a question. And you can see here, you've got your reading or your writing, maybe looking at their favorite book, um, how you can express feelings just there. Um, some really, really lovely tools. And again, if I use our breadcrumb trail just here and head over to science, there we are. Um, there's some absolutely brilliant tools available in science in terms of ThinkIt. Really lovely. Maybe you could do it one afternoon, maybe um, going through an investigation. So again, we can have a look down this filter to have a look for any investigations that are available. There we go number of tools just there, lots of things that you can be doing, maybe looking at shadows while the weather stays nice, looking at plants, maybe even growing a plant and having a look at that, recording some data um, that you can do as well. Um, now if I just head to, or let's head backwards again and head back in to all. There's some really lovely ones, an absolute favorite of mine I scroll down here, let's have a look for it. 
make sure it's in here somewhere. Oh, it's not. Um, there's one that we have that is called um, Granny's Coffee. Can't seem to find it in there. That's strange. Let's head backwards. But again, some things may be more applicable to year four than year three. So we can have a look in there as well. Not in there either. But again, not to worry because the other thing we can do is we can use our search content area. And we can find those tools by having a look in science. And again, we can filter down at the bottom to some Thinkits. And if I scroll down, there it is just there, Granny's Hot Chocolate. And the idea behind the Thinkits is it poses that question for children to investigate or explore with what they already know um, and maybe do some reasoning um, in terms of maths as well and explaining. So this one, having a look at maybe what will keep Granny's hot chocolate warm. And in the answer, it gives you what Granny has used. So she's used some wool, but around the house, you could look at um, an old T-shirt, you can look at foil, cling film. What can they use to um, keep that tea warm for longer? But then we've got our next step question as well. Can I use the same insulator to keep my fruit juice cold? Maybe why? Have a look at that and, and do some investigations. Some of them for the younger ones might have a, um, a fun fact or some key vocabulary. But it's a really, really lovely tool to look at. There we go. Let's head back there. Now, finally, the last tool I'd like to tell you about, I'm going to head into maths again. And this is something that is available in all year groups. So let's have a look at Upper Key Stage 2. We have our Play Live. Um, and this in math is available um, in the four um, key skills areas. So we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And the idea is that children have to answer questions in those areas as quickly as they can in order to move their avatar across the screen. However, they only have three lives. So if they get a question incorrect or three questions incorrect, their avatar will go into its shell and won't move. So it's all about accuracy as well as those instant recall skills. A quick tip for you, why not log in yourself as a parent, maybe get a best score and see if your child or children can beat that score. Or maybe both of you could log in on different um, tools, maybe one on an iPad, one on a computer and compete against each other and see who wins. So loads of fun tools in there um, for you to explore with your child or children, as well as having their fun avatar that they can change just there. And then everything they do, as I mentioned earlier, that is an activity does get marked for you. So you can have a look at that activity. Let's head into, let's go into English. Let's see what we've done. There we go. That's the best score. There's nothing to stop you searching for crunch time in the search content area and having another go. Keep on improving that independent learning um, and sort of filling those gaps in knowledge. So that is pretty much everything that I have for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching. And if you didn't know already, we do have our learning record activity sheet just there. And what that means is you can record what your child or children have been doing, maybe noting down in any activities what score they've got, because then if they improve on that score, you can have another go. So really, really useful tools just there. And if you joined us a little bit late to this webinar, don't worry because all of our webinars um, will be available on YouTube on the Education City um, site. So give us a couple of hours and this one will appear on there as well. Please do take care and stay safe. And as I mentioned earlier, if you don't already have your child or your children's login, please do contact your child's teacher or school and they will be able to provide those for you. Enjoy Education City and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Take care.
拜。